Hey everyone, welcome to Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss the recent image released in the Entertainment Weekly article last week discussing Scream 6, and they shared this exclusive ghost face mask image. Now, the mask looks weathered and old, and the rumor now is that this is a mask worn by a previous killer from the past in the franchise. So I've decided to put on my investigator's hat and start doing some mask comparisons across all the films to see if I may possibly identify which legacy Ghostface killer has previously worn the mask. Well, after careful deliberation, I've reached my conclusion and the time has come to share it with you. Let's go. So first up, we see this new image of the mask from Entertainment Weekly. And I'll be using this as the comparison shot for the previous masks that we review. So let's dive in. Now, first of all, because of the aging of this mask, clearly it's not from Scream 5 um, or obviously Scream 6 because that's coming out in March. So those movies are eliminated from this. It really is a matter of whether it's from Scream 1, 2, 3, or 4 is what we're dealing with here. So, uh, but having said that, just for, you know, for giggles, if you will, <laughs> I wanted to include uh, these in here now for you guys. So I want to be thorough. So I'm taking the time to be very thorough with this. So here is the uh, mask we see in Scream 5 compared to the aged mask we see in the image from Scream 6. So, Clearly, you know, and listen, these masks from all the movies, with the exception of the first one, are all really different. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, they're, they're really not that different. Um, so it, it is very, very much, um, you know, almost nitpicky, if you will, because they're very similar. But there are some differences when you look at them, and especially when you do side by sides, that you can see things there that your eyes just like, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't really notice that before. So we'll look at it. We'll look at all of them, but just to give you a heads up, um, it's not gonna be drastic differences here, but I still think there's some that we can rule out. And there's, there's one in particular that I think wins the prize, if you ask my opinion on this. So we'll, like I say, we're gonna get into the old ones, but first, this is the five mask and that's the six mask. Obviously they are, they're like almost dead ringers. Uh, which and, and I'll say this up front too, before we get into this, the original mask of those older movies, they don't have them. That is so I want to get that real clear. Like there's not a vault where they can go into and say, here's the screen worn masks from one, two, three, and four. We know Kevin Williamson has a mask from Scream One that uh, he said was the the the, uh, the it was the it was the one I believe used in the garage. If I'm not mistaken, in the, he said in the interview, it was the garage scene with Tatum. He has that actual mask, uh, and I've seen it on a Zoom call and on, on a meeting that he did. So other than that, though, these masks are not just readily available. So the reason I say that is because what they're doing here, I'm 90 90% 90 sure, and I'm going to talk to Nate Reagan about this, uh, hopefully in January, he's going to be back on the channel with Anthony Mossy and, and and Reagan will know a lot more of the details. But I can tell you this, um, because Nate is, if you don't know who Nate is, he's a consultant. He, he consulted on Scream 5 for the mask and robe and costume for Ghostface that they used, everything. It's He's real hands-on with it. So he'll he's gonna give some insight, but, but for now at least, my suspicion is that what they've done is they've taken the current Scream 5 molded masks that are, you know, the masks that they use for five. And they've just, in the prop shop, they've modified it. They've aged that mask. And that's why if you look at the Scream 5 mask here, on the top right, especially, it's almost like a mirror image. That is, I mean, that is really, really close, if not identical to the mask. So I think, 
you know, as far as the movie magic goes, what what they're actually doing is just taking a, a mask like from five or for six and they're just aging it and they're making that happen manually, obviously, for the movie. And, and you know, it, we're going to pretend it's an OG mask, you know, for the, for the story. So that's probably the real, like, the movie-making side of it. But you know what? That's no fun. So we're going to have fun. We're going to go back and look because there still could be there still could be some 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 little nuances here and there that might be mimicking an older mask, even though it's not the actual older mask that was used. All right. So having got all that out of the way here with the five mask, and of course here are the current mask for Scream Six, taken from the trailer, you can see also very very similar. Um, and so I just wanted to get those out front. Now let's get into the older mask. We're going to start at the beginning. And we're going to work our way up, all right? So don't go anywhere because we're going to go through each of these masks. So here is the mask for, uh, the aged mask for six compared to the Scream 1 masks. So in Scream 1, as you guys probably know, and if you don't, there were two masks that were used in the movie. There was the initial mask that was used, and then there was another mask that they had to make after, you know, they realized that, it's, this mask was already, you know, uh, copywritten with Fun World and that whole scenario. So to do this, we, there's two different masks. So on the right-hand side, you see the mask that was in the Casey kill. That is whenever the ghost face turns at the window when she's outside and she looks for the first time back in when, and ghost face is there looking at her. So that mask there, you can see, and then you see the bottom mask is the mask of Principal Henry's office, which is absolutely a different mask. I mean, you can tell right there, it's very clear those are two different masks from the mouth, from uh, from from the, the we all, I can't call it the peanut eyes, right? The peanut mask. That is a, a different mask. So there was two there, but clearly neither one of them really look like the Scream 6 mask. They are different, very different. So we can uh, go ahead and rule out this being a Scream 1 OG mask from the first film, as far as the way it looks. Now, next up, we've got the Scream 2 mask. And the Scream 2 mask is, again, slightly different. You can see, and the thing about the Scream mask that, that sticks out to me here and why uh, I question whether it's a Scream 2 replica of it's because look at the mouth here. It is, it is very, especially on the top shot, whenever this is the Phil kill, this is Omar Epps uh, kill in the, in the uh, theater bathroom is the first top screen grab. And then the bottom one is the Gale chase scene just to give two different uh, perspectives of the mask. But look at the way that the, the neck and the, the chin, the mouth rather expands down the side, how it's so it's, it's more narrow. And it's, again, there's not a, a humongous difference, but there's enough difference here uh, for me anyway, to say that I do not believe that looks like the Scream 6 mask that's been aged. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and X out Scream 2 for right now. Now, next up, we've got the Scream 3 mask, which is very intriguing because this top mask is Roman. This is when they reveal Roman in Milton's screening room. And the bottom is from Cotton's kill at the very opening of the movie. And if you look here, that, now again, we're starting to get into some real similarities here. And it, there's definitely is some closeness here in the way these masks looks to the Scream 6 aged mask. Now, while this is definitely similar, there's there's the one thing about this mask uh, that you can see, especially on the Roman top top right mask, is it just looks like it's a little wider uh, below the eyes. So if you look at the eyes compared to the left mask, the Scream Six mask, it looks to be a little bit wider shape as it goes out around versus the left the left is much more narrow like if you look at the left at the right eyeball there and you right through eye socket you go down and that section there below the eye the below the what would be the left eye of the scream six mask 
to where the mouth opening is, is very narrow. It's very, very streamlined, if you will. The Roman mask at the top, le top right, it is a much wider space there. It's so it's not, in my mind, that's not the same. That is a different mask. It's not, it, the dimensions are a little bit different on the Roman mask. So from my perspective, based on that, all these things considered, I'm thinking that the Roman mask is not, or the Scream 3 mask, I should say, is not the one in play. Now this takes us to finally Scream 4. Now the Scream 4 mask, whenever I looked at this, it, it really did jump off the page to me uh, or off the screen because when you look at these masks guys I'm telling you what this is this really looks to me very 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 close I mean the nose is right um, the amount of space that we see below the eye unlike the last mask for three you see it's much more narrow it's much more what I call streamlined, for lack of a better word. It's tight, like the one is for six here. Those match up. I believe the mouth is also a great match. If you look at how that mouth curves, where it curves at, because those are some subtle differences on those other masks. If you go back and look at them, the mouths sometimes are just a little bit different. One's a little bit wider, one's a little bit more narrow. But this one, this mask right here, really looks a lot like the mask on the left. And so, and even the way that the, the eye on the left eye at the bottom, how it's really thick and, and when it curves, that looks identical there as well. And so when reviewing these and and I've been I've been looking at these for a few days because I didn't want to just like look at them in two seconds and put my thoughts out there. I wanted to give this time to make sure that after multiple days, things still look the same, right? Like, oh, you know, sometimes you can look at something different and you're like, oh, no, no, I don't, I don't see that anymore, but I do. So guys, I looked at this and I really believe that if the intention here is to mirror uh, an OG mask, a legacy mask, without actually having those mask which they don't i do believe that scream 4 is the mask that this is uh trying to be that's my opinion right now and it's just it's still december <laughs> right we still got some time um a new trailer will be coming out probably late january early february we'll get more footage of ghostface i'm sure but this is such a great image on the left that we have that they gave us in that magazine or Entertainment Weekly was just a brilliant picture. A really nice, clear, high-def image we can look at. So unless something drastically changes, this to me, folks, looks like the Scream 4 mask. Now, if that's true, if this is intended to be the Scream 4 mask, you know, it's 12 years old. And granted, that's not 20 years old. That's it's it's still, you know, over a decade. If it's, you know, if it's not treated right, you know, treated poorly. You know, it could, it could perhaps look this way. You know, I can suspend some disbelief. I would believe it more if it was a mask from, you know, like 96. But I don't believe it is. Um, now, here's the other thing, too. It's movie time. It's just, it's just movie magic. It's fictional. So they could easily say this mask is from 96 if they want to. Right? So, I, And I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, no, that's not... That's not screen correct or anything. And I think most of you wouldn't either. We'd just be like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll accept that. It's, it's a movie, you know? But as far as trying to get this as accurate to what we saw in the movies, if we're coming from that perspective, I believe it's a Scream 4 mask. But just keep that in mind. You know, is, it, it, this could, they could end up saying it is a Scream 1 mask. So we'll go with it. If they do, I'm gonna go with it. It's fine, it's a movie. But having said all that, that's where I check out with this mask being a Scream 4 mask. Uh, that's where we stand. All right. So, guys, that, that is pretty much where I'm going to leave it. I want to know what you think about my assessment and comparisons of the previous Ghostface mask. 
with this weathered aged one from one of the previous killers that's being featured in Scream 6. And if it is Scream 4, then we got to talk about suspects, right? We know Kirby's back. And I'll, I'm going to do a whole another video on the assumption that this is a mask from Scream 4 and who the suspects can be and some theories on that. But for this video, I just wanted to leave it at the mask level. So I want to know, what are your thoughts? What are your ideas and theories? Uh, what do you think? Start leaving your comments below now. Let's discuss it. I'll be curious if you guys agree that this is a Scream 4 mask or if you do think it's going to end up being an older mask. And that's what they're going to make it, you know, make it be an older mask. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Let's chat about it in the comments section. Well, that's it for this update, but I'll be back soon with more Scream 6 and other horror movie content as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Thanks for watching.